Welcome Leo to your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 29th of July for the Ascendant, the Sun or the Moon. I'd just like to tell you about my very special annual offer. You can order your year 2025 personal horoscope based on your unique birth data and in my special package I'll give you the rest of this year free but also you'll get your life aroma report. The combination of all this information will give you so much to work through and it is fantastic value. You have a great opportunity to blend your individualism and drive and leadership skills with how you connect to others. And there could be some really important alliances building up for you this week, not least with Jupiter, the planet of opportunity in the part of your situation to do with networks, friendships and socialising. But the point of destiny, the North Node, also comes into an exact trine with the Sun on Thursday. And that's suggesting if there's something changing in your world to be guided by your instincts. But Venus in your sign is going to be clashing with Uranus this week. And if there is something that you feel very invested in that's a bit different, more creative, it's possible that you may encounter someone who doesn't quite get what you're trying to achieve. But don't be put off because there are going to be other people who really do recognise uh, the qualities of your idea, but also the qualities that you bring to the situation as an individual. Just be aware right at the start of this week, Leo, that the clash between Mercury and Mars is quite abrasive. Mercury, now in its pre-retrograde shadow, suggests over the next few weeks that it will be important to micromanage any kind of financial transactions. And the square with Uranus suggests you may encounter someone who sees something very differently to you. But the big picture this week is one which gives you an opportunity to showcase your talent, be very, uh, be very dynamic in your approach, and most of all, have a lot of energy to guide you. Just be conscious that the quarter moon which occurred at the end of last week suggests you will have to juggle in certain situations what you want to do as an individual with what other people expect of you. But if you're a natural bohemian, this is a week which can see you make huge progress. If you're someone who's quite happy to work collaboratively with others, that also is an area that you can thrive. If you're someone who wants to be much more individualistic, but you need to fit into a big organisation, that's the area that could uh, be a little more challenging. But what this week can do, therefore, is help you to understand more about where you could apply your skills or who the people are that you can enjoy being with. So Leo, as the week comes to a close, there's so much drama as the new moon crystallises in your sign. This is a very important new moon because your sun rules the sign of Leo. So it brings a lot of radiance and warmth and potential on its own. But this year, greatly supported by the two planets, which are the rulers of your third and second decans in the guise of Mars and Jupiter, that brings an extra oomph. So whatever it is that's really important to you as an individual, and it may be a fresh start, it may be rejuvenating a strand that's gone on with greater conviction and enthusiasm, or it could be a connection with someone in terms of your social world. Something really positive is definitely cooking up as this week comes to a close. It's been a pleasure being with you, Leo. Have a great week and goodbye for now.